Nancy Pelosi just recently met with the founder of TSMC in Taiwan. We all know that her husband is deeply invested into the semiconductor industry. Although Pelosi, she claims uh, she went to Taiwan to fight for freedom and democracy. Yeah, right. She also took her son to the trip to Taiwan. Seems like her son is also handling part of the family corruption business. A bit like uh, what Hunter Biden does for his father. Without the drugs, prostitutes and naked selfies, I guess. The US has also announced he wants to create a cheap four alliance between the US, Japan, South Korea and Taiwan. That's another attempt to create an alliance to contain China. The US has also passed a massive bill called the CHIP Act. This bill amounts to over $50 billion for research, development and manufacturing. What the US here wants to achieve with the CHIP Act and CHIP4 Alliance is to have those countries to decouple from China, to have them to invest into the US, to make the US self-sufficient and less dependent on China, but most important, to transfer to the US the most high-end Taiwanese semiconductor technologies. The US is pushing for China-Taiwan's confrontation, but at the moment, the US are too much reliant on high-end Taiwanese semiconductor industry. So the CHIP4 Alliance and the CHIP Act are the precursor to the possible coming Taiwan-China confrontation, or should I say, China-US proxy war. The CHIP4 Alliance looks more like a win for the US and a loss for Japan and South Korea. As for Taiwan, it is the destruction of a long-established profitable business. The US is starting to strip out value and resources from Taiwan. The Cheap 4 Alliance is probably doomed to fail. China has just reached the ability to produce 7 nanometer microchip, although TSMC and Samsung are already able to do 5 and 3 nanometer microchips. So China is lagging, but then could catch up as it China has done in the past. China has also five times more university graduated every year in science, math, engineering and technology, more than the four countries of the Cheap 4 Alliance. As China has done in the past, China can turn those challenges into opportunities.